Ms. Biggs. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The Lowndes County Fire Rescue, uh, I'm sorry, Lowndes County Sheriff's Office Safe Halloween event um, is scheduled for October the 31st from 6 to 8. Lowndes County Fire Rescue, as well as EMS and some of our other departments, will be participating. This is a free event to our citizens held at 2101 Technology Crossing. It's the drive through but if any of you would like to be a part of that process, um, we can certainly connect you to that project. Also, as a follow-up to our anticipated move into the newly renovated historic <coughs> courthouse, staff will be holding a neighborhood meet and greet for our downtown neighbors on November the 2nd at 8.30 a.m. Um, this will be in the historic courthouse. We're going to have coffee and donuts and just have an opportunity for the downtown businesses to come in and ask questions and for us to also get some feedback from them on how we can be a good uh, community partner as we move further into the heart of our downtown. Um, a reminder that the ribbon cutting is tomorrow in the morning at 10 a.m. Also on October the 30th at 10 a.m. we will have our DSIP meeting with Moody Air Force Base related to the grant. Um, the DSIP grant is the Defense Community Infrastructure Pilot Program. Lowndes County was awarded $861,000 that will connect Lowndes County's water system to Moody's water system. This is extremely important as it relates to um, infrastructure redundancy to Moody Air Force Base. Um, so we're excited about this grant. Steve and his team will be managing it along with Stephanie and her team. And this kickoff meeting is the first meeting as that, for that process is required for us to move forward. Also on November the, the Friday, November the 3rd, we will be hosting uh, the Dawson City Schools for a field trip. So if any of you would like to be here for that, you're welcome to. And then later that evening on November 3rd, Leadership Lounge will be hosting a Glow Golf Tournament on the historic courthouse lawn. Um, the tournament is raising money for children in the Dawson City School System to be a part of the FFA program. That's been a program that's been a long staple at the Lowndes County School System, but it's also now part of the city school system. And um, managing those types of projects and, and what is learned and the exposure that you get to agriculture and animals through FFA is something that's also been proven to be positive impact from a mental health standpoint where children are concerned. Um, it's only $10 for a child to be an annual member of FFA, um, but that $10 can be very hard to come by for some of our families, especially if they have more than one child in, in the high school. So um, that is the community service um, project initiative and we're excited to have the golf on the historic courthouse lawn and then also on Saturday November the 4th we will be um, supporting girls on the run for their fall 5k and I know Commissioner Evans and the chairman have been there for that event before so if any of you are excited and uh, would like to be a part of the, the girls on the run initiative um, I'll be there as well and I'll get you that information. That concludes my report Mr. Chairman. Thank you ma'am.